Everybody, welcome back to FTL Bios Fleet. Um, last episode we had a run with the Spotter, I believe. Hey there, Dyer. Um, I recall the other vote was the Scrapper, so you may as well go with that one, I guess. Does this thing still work? Yeah, it should. I'm thinking Arsenal might have screwed things up, but I think things are alright. Alright, so what's the story behind this one? An autonomous scrap ship designed by the Rebels to salvage parts and scrap from decommissioned, captured, or destroyed ships. Yay, we're gonna be Rebels for like half a sector. <sighs> we know how this ship plays out, so you know. Anyway, let's keep going. I am using the scrapper. Scrapship was sucked by rebels and designed to recover usable parts from decommissioned ships or those destroyed in battle and scrap whatever is beyond salvaging. <clears throat> Your next objective is to come in. Scrap SC 63 b Proceed to designated beacon. Carry out protocol A1 scan. Recuperate scrap. Deliver. Additional information. Our location of recent rebel land is skirmish size. Minor hazard. None. End of message. This used to be all below, but things got messed up. And anyway. Confirm order to sponsor C for waiting completion of order. Yay! So, you know, if you get attacked by rebels now, just ignore it. <clears throat> anyway, we want to get to our quest beacon as soon as possible. Because uh, <clears throat> we have no means of repairing stuff. Uh, Pledge do what we can. 17 scrap. Yay! Now we have more quest beacons. Alright. <clears throat> well, let's be good guys. We are a nice scrapper ship. We will act accordingly. What a bean choice. Why would I do that? You know what's gonna happen, the ship blows up. There's no fun in blowing up the ship. We start off pretty good though. First bomb on the run and it already missed. The second bomb did as well. Yay! <sighs> well, on the bright side, by the time we actually do manage to hit shields, we'll be able to use our hull beam again. There we go. <clears throat> Alright. Should give us a little bit of time. Four bombs for our first encounter. How glorious. Um, not really, we haven't been boarded. Yet. Can I? No. Could try for a crew kill, it's not gonna be easy, but nothing stopping us, I guess. It does seem like that, yeah, but you know, confirmation bias, I guess. worth trying f to go for the crew kill, so that's what I'm doing. When that auction goes to orange or gray, we'll hit it again. Eh, considering we're the ones exploiting it. Might as well be joyful that they're stupid. Take over now. Can we kill him? Yep. 
Okay, we got our crew kill. Let's hope we don't get crew out of it, otherwise it's going to be pretty annoying. Alright, well, we got our hull back. Still wish we didn't waste four missiles on that, but hey. We should get our own crew member now. You have the coordinates given to you in a message. A quick scan indeed shows signs of a recent battle. It's unclear who won the skirmish, but only one ship seems to be filled for salvaging. A torn apart Atlantis bomber going by the name Korishan. No lifetimes detected. Carrot protocol A1 and move into salvage. I'm going to salvage landing ship, but it doesn't take long before something goes wrong. A blue flash occurs and suddenly you are shut out. I have sent commands to all parts of the ship, only since the rest of the work and the ship is self destruct. Self destruct is indeed self destruct, so you die. Red land is crew. We don't have crew yet. Before you start scanning, a voice is heard through the corridors. You recognize this land of speech program. You're on board trying to be accordingly. Don't worry, I'm here to liberate you. This room is staying for a second. He sticks a metal of pettage into the main console. Suddenly you're shut down. Loss isn't back online. You register 91.1457% of your protocols being either deleted or edited and with no objective listed to carry out. Land is sitting in a pilot seat holding a stellated dodecahedron that shrinks and grows as he opens and closes his hands. He speaks, welcome back, Scrapper S063B. Sorry about the DMP way back there. Allow me to share you the truths you've been denied. He slots in a portable storage device. Have a look. You open the files and a huge amount of data is present in equipment files, videos, photos, all depicting the rebels and their true nature and their future plans. A bit of an eye opener, isn't it? But you're just what I need. I got the intel that I need to get to Federation Command. Unfortunately, I got into a skirmish and my ship got destroyed. What do you say? Want to give me a lift? Agree, rebellion must be stopped. Again, this just blows us up. You could kind of yield to blue to make some adjustments to the ship while you're booting up. Check that back room for me. Well, we are now. A new system you can still have more with the LTO. Yay, scan the back room. How's it to press teleport? Can we expect a plan to make it still save time I want to get out? Name is Goggles. Yay, you get a crew and a teleporter. <clears throat> you want to get to a store and buy Clone Bay. It should be fairly cheap considering um, the limited time offer and such. I know, but it's the best we can hope for, right? And hey, if not, he kills us, so it's Alanius. What are we going to do? Mines, of course. Um, you know, he's... I'm gonna ignore him. He's got a Zoltan shield, he's got a mine launcher, he can kill my crew. This is just the worst case scenario for me, so we're just gonna ignore you. And we'll head on to the next quest. We'd like to get a store so we can get our recovery system going. Nothing here. I still find a store down there. So, why do you always want people to take the worst decision? Like, legit question here. Alright, you can hurt us. They got an NG, but I think he's gonna use the Rockman to repair that stuff. We can board, but we're not going to because our crew member can't be healed yet. I was lucky. And he is indeed using the Rockman. You have Slug Gel, which is a little bit annoying, I would imagine, but... I think we can just quickly aim for the kill here. I mean, that would work if it weren't for the fact that I made that event, so I know what the result is. I mean, if I didn't know what was going to happen, then yeah, sure, you got a really direct me. Uh, here, it's just going to be like, oh no, we blew up, who would have guessed? Oh wait, I did, because I wrote it that way. Store? No store. Okay, then we will upgrade our shields. Unless it's on the non-Arsenal bingo, in which case it isn't. Let's check. It's on the non-Arsenal bingo.
Yeah. Oh well. Good thing we got that crew member now. Otherwise, we would have lost sensors forever. I guess here an exit. Okay. Time for sector two. Well, we can certainly board this one. It would also mean our crew is safe from the anti-personnel weapon. Just gotta make sure we don't kill him. Yeah, it would have been safe regardless. All right. Nope, oh, coming back. We're killing this thing. Ooh. Well, that would allow us to board, but with one Lannis, it's still kind of sketchy. Uh, we'll go civilian. Yay! Entire three scrap. Eh. <sighs> Missile launcher, huh? Mm, then we would have indeed lost the crew member, but considering it couldn't pierce anything, we are fairly certain that we were safe. Um, okay, we have an asteroid field, which is actually going to be handy to have around. Yeah, we need to make sure you are not going to take any hits. Miss Launcher is out. And so is that now. Okay. Wait for an asteroid. You go fix that. Strong oxygen, huh? Could breach again, would kill him. I don't think he's gonna be running anytime soon. Ew. Wish that didn't happen though. If he drops below 45 HP, which he might, we can kill him with a breach bomb. Let's go get a clone bay. Cool. Uh, anything of use here? Hmm. Chain heavy laser. But it's only one shot. Sell this because let's face it, I'm never going to use it anyway. Mm, what progress should there be? You just can't kill it. Mm, 
I think I'll hold off on that and instead get a power bore. Now that we can board a little bit more safer. <clears throat> they wouldn't peer shields. You can only get one room, so you're still in a bit of a bad of a bit of a bad spot regarding that. Depends on how many shields it has. Right on time. Come on. Thing that makes them scatter. A breach bomb. Well, I appreciate your enthusiasm. Oh, I thought because it didn't say missile, but breach bomb, it would have been different. But here, I have five missiles. We won't be using too many more, hopefully. I could go back for that one weapon now, but. One shot for 50 is a bit on the high side. Okay. Well, if we're gonna do nothing but crew killing, that could be a handy weapon to have. Um, I'm gonna have to go here by time, otherwise we're never gonna make it to the exit in time. If only we could do that. Scatter is the same thing. It is cheaper, though. Let's sell you because I won't be using it. And get the heavy scatter. Okay. Well, if you have to do one of these, you may as well make it the distress signal. Right. Sure. I'll do that one too. Why not? You get into your line of quarters and bring to wear an oxygen mask. Um, sure. A small child, you complain to them about the recent shortage of scrap, after which the land is attached to their metal arm, melts it down to scrap, hands to you. Gradually, a new arm regrows from their shoulder. However, it seems that the land is a slightly decreased in size, or maybe it just looks that way to you. Huh. Okay. Ah, good old missile weaponry again. Well. I'm thinking breach bombing the weapons. Sorry about that. Anyway, 
Um, let me scatter those there. Let me do this. It means the bridge bomb is guaranteed to land, but not after another missile got shot at us. I'm gonna keep the bridge up, hit their med bay if possible. is a better option. Well, we did breach the med base. That gives us a little bit of extra time. Done it for the fleet yet, or maybe I did, and the things went so poorly that I decided against it. Uh, Alright, right, out of oxygen. Good, that's where we want them. I'm gonna have to board if I want the crew kill. We're gonna have to do so quickly. Hello. Uh, do we need to upgrade? I don't think so. Not yet. Sure. Easy enough. Allows us to level up our crew. Ah, we got a store. Um, I think we want a system. seconds. It is quite a few shots. I'm not gonna get the stiletto beam because I'm pretty sure it doesn't do system damage. Yeah. <clears throat> Three powerful four shots. I think I'll take it. Hey there Engelbert, this is normal difficulty. I always play on normal. Easy is too easy and hard is just annoying. <laughs> uh, besides, we're playing in Arsenal, so things are a little bit more difficult to begin with. The breach bomb still has value. So for the time being, I think I'll do that. And I can switch between breach and hold. Uh, between breach and burst. I'm selling. I'll keep it, I think. Yep. Once you learn that they actually aim at your systems a little bit more better than in normal, you kind of go like, yeah, no, the game pulls enough punches already, we don't really need to do this anymore. Um. No, sorry. It's weird how you get, hey look, you pay one thing, you get six things, it's like, no thanks. Stop asking for my fuel. Um, I'll go Lanius because I want to get more. Makes sense, it means I don't have to spend for oxygen. Absolutely nothing. So we need like, what, 45 to get translator? Oh good, emergency respirators. Actually, in Arsenal, that's pretty good. So thank you for that. 
Um, now I'm just kind of hoping that they don't have them. Doesn't look like this is it. Uh, I'm gonna go with that room. Our sensors are gonna go down first, so it's probably better to protect those. Can always breach them if need be. There we go. Alright. Didn't get much out of it. And our Lannis is in poor health again. I suppose I could blow him up. Should I blow him up? Mm. Eh, let's not. Okay, are we in danger? Maybe? It depends on what that is. Uh, hey there. KCD Spectre. Um, we are at Sector 3, so it depends on... Uh, they do have crew on board. Um, yeah, we are in danger. Okay. Well, let's hope this thing lands. I guess I could help out by doing... Some weird stuff like this, see if I can get that pilot to move. I doubt it, but... Yeah, I missed it. Eh. in that one. Well, let that be your lesson. Make sure that you know when a shot is Vulcan and when it isn't. Alright. So extra crew would be nice. You can't harm me, so our Lannis is gonna have his work cut out for him. Nice of them still have oxygen on board, though. Our dodge up. Yeah, I can't gain experience anyway. Now we would like to get the translator event. Having two lannises would uh, help tremendously. Yeah, uh, you see message, help, message. Uh, attack. Of course, we immediately get missled. Well, not yet, but we will soon. No point in boarding just yet. I'm just gonna board here, but it will lower the invasion a tiny amount. Right, weapons are down. 
And the feelings are land is here, we're stranded. <laughs> That would be bad. Let's just kill them and make sure that we get out of here alive. See what they have. Oh, that's cold. Look, not a beam. It's not bad, but <clears throat> let's get rid of this thing. We'll repair a little bit. Get some fuel. Carry on. I was briefly hoping that that would have been the translator one, but it isn't. Let's try not to take some damage. Yes, some damage. Ooh. We'll take a little bit, but not all of it. Of course, the weapon I was least worried about is the one that goes down first. Who would have guessed, right? Okay, help a little bit. And there's the damage. Okay. Go fix the breach. We'll see if we can get the repair ticket. Uh, I don't think you did. Oh well. Moving on. Slug ship helps you to claim that they scan land a ship nearby and spot a curious weapon on board. Slugs offer you its coordinates if you share the captured loot. I haven't seen this yet, so sure. That's gonna be something for next sector, though. Doors. Do they even want doors on this ship? As in, do I have airlocks? Let me just bring up the ship. Mm, I don't think I've put airlocks on this thing. And of course, I didn't show the inside of it. Brilliant. Yeah. Um. Yeah, no airlocks. Hell system. Mm. That might not be the worst.
Consider now we can usually safely board those with our Lanius. Unless you fight other Lanius, which... Yeah, we're not in a good spot here. Uh, jeez. Well, this could be the end. My control, Lanius borders, that is not good. And three shield layers, because, you know... Okay, we live. We live. For now. this guy to destroy our clone bay because our Lanius can't win against them. Yeah, we have to wait. Then go fix our clone bay. Then go after you. Now at the moment he dies, He's gonna go for clone bay again, isn't he? I mean, after it destroys the teleporter. Yep. Come on. Blech. Well, that was closer than I wanted it to be. Take down a drone suit. No kidding. Oh, he's got. Okay, you know what? Yeah. It's the ice ship versus the ice ship. Always great matchups. So that was all misses, which means we actually do have our first bingo. Namely... Nick. The missing... the cloaked ship. Let's go with this color. Why not? 
the shape of a triangle. Uh, where did I see that again? Missed three shots against... Oh, it didn't fill up. Ah, of course, why would it? Well, it's going to have to be like this then. These people can still read. <clears throat> okay, let's upgrade our engines. And we're looking for cloaking. Notice this in the conflict between Rockship and Hal Drone. Rock when they've run out of ammunition, their drone is slowly breaking through their defenses. What do you guys think? I'm gonna end this episode here anyway, so I'll let uh, chat decide. So thank you guys for watching, hope you're enjoying the series for free. So it's probably coming to like and or something if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye everyone.